Okay, so here we are. We just clicked on interactive version, and uh, I'm not even going to give you any directions. I'm just going to let you see what you can do. It seems like to me that this shape here is the shape on the tessellation, so if I move this vertice up, then it becomes that shape. The camera just a little bit. So, maybe if I can see what happens if I get it almost like a rectangle. Okay. This is, this is pretty close. And angle open. This is so I think this shows how far they will open to. There, if I can make it like squares like this. If I make it a 90 degree angle. That so this could be interesting to see. And show grid might actually uh, yeah. um I think this is what it will look like when it's at the part I was thinking they were the same it'll bounce to these both times okay if I make it weird like something like this it's almost like they're they would be like pinwheels if I oriented it like this. It's like a random angle. It actually looks pretty neat. But this is I'm in, I think I'm on the trapezoid site oh. Hmm. Now it's that now. Uh, oh. this is looked up. I yeah. just accidentally looked up site. Yeah. Let's just click away from that. Okay. So you wanna click on cyclic? Yeah, we're already okay. on it. Alright. So, this... So, a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral that can be inscribed in a circle. Hmm. This is... So if I spread these... There. You can almost see the circles. If I make it like... Quite... These look like the kite, kite uh, quadrilaterals. Let's see if I can make it. Um, what happens if I shrink this? I think this would make it only open a little, like a ten degree angle. Oh yeah. Well, what happens if you open the angle all the way to the end? This goes to a one hundred eighty. So. It seems like it's sort of running. It's it's different. No, I think it actually might be. This is what it's doing. It was doing previously. If I just bounce it like this, that was the tessellation moving. So if I just like bounce it like this, it looks like to me. I can move these around. Let's see what happens here. It's sort of interesting. Right, right there at 90. And okay, that's moving. Oh, this is pretty neat. Not sure what the grid does differently. Mm. Grid is actually. It's sort of increasing and shrinking. Yeah, I'm not sure what that grid is supposed to do, to tell you the truth. So what do you think about this program? This is, it looks like a pretty neat program. It's sort of simulating how this sort of motion would work. It, I'm almost reminded of the tessellating pentagons. So yeah. I wonder if you could do it with the five, five points instead of four. Yeah, it'd be fun to play around with and see if you could get any hinged uh, Pentagon tessellations. Yeah, yep. cool. All right, cool. Hey, good work on that. I thought this would be really fun to play around with. Definitely was.